Have you ever been down on the ground with no boost, thinking to yourself, man, I hate being down here. But how can I get all the way up there and score a goal if I have no boost? <sighs> there just doesn't seem to be any way to do it. Introducing the Turbo Stole Chain. In this video, you'll learn exactly how to do this incredible mechanic that allows you to get from the ground to the ceiling, starting with zero boost and only one single jump. It's easily one of the most important mechanics in the game, so you're going to want to watch this one. Chaining stalls is one of the coolest moves in the game. However, not only does it look good, it's also incredibly useful. It allows you to go from a low position down here, to a high position up here, but end up with more boost than when you started, and to still have a flip. It kind of defies all logic. You can do it from the ground, or you can do it in mid-air. All you really need is the ball and a flip. So how do we do this awesome move? Well, the actual steps of how to do it are really simple. It's really just a matter of doing a single stall, so get the middle of your car's roof aligned with the middle of the ball, then jump, half air roll, get a reset, and then air roll again to start over. Then you just need to repeat those steps over and over as quickly as possible to get your turbo stall chain. One tip I can give you to avoid those really common mistakes like accidentally purple shotting or hitting the ball away like this, is instead of just tapping air roll for both my pre-stall and after-stall air rolls, I instead hold my finger down on the half air roll button for the pre-stall air roll, and then as soon as I see that flash, release it and immediately tap it again to reset my car's position, and then repeat. For me on controller, it looks and sounds like this. And for me on touch, it looks and sounds like this. This method really helped me to avoid those super annoying mistakes that broke my stall chains and allowed me to get really consistent with them. Okay, so that's how to do it, but how about when to do it? Well, honestly, this move can be used in such a wide variety of situations. In fact, any time that a simple air dribble would do, an awesome stall chain could replace it. It can be used offensively like this, or defensively like this. And if you do take the ball all the way up to the ceiling, you've got some extra options. You can get really creative and add additional mechanics like finishing moves at the end of your chain. Like a purple reset finishing move. Fatality. A ceiling pinch finishing move. Brutality. Or pretty much any finishing move you want. Flawless victory. It's honestly just such an incredibly versatile move, you can use it in pretty much any situation at all, all over the field. But first we need to get good at it, so I'm going to show you a training routine that I developed to perfect this move. This training routine will use the hoops arena, which is pretty much always the best place to practice stalls because you can use the kickoff to get the ball on top of your car. So I've got three training drills for you from beginner to advanced. So let's go through them starting with beginner. This first training drill is just to practice chaining stalls from the ground to the ceiling right from the kickoff. 
This should be the easiest possible situation to get a saw chain going because the ball is totally stationary and right above your car. So just get your car right in the middle of the arena with the ball aligned with the middle of your car and then stall chain from the ground to the ceiling. Once you master that, which should take a while if you're new to stalls, move on to the next drill. In this drill, use the kickoff to get the ball on top of your car. Then drive forward slightly to get both you and the ball moving a bit. And then start your stall chain while you're moving. And again, our goal should be to take the chain all the way up to the ceiling. This one is quite a bit more difficult than the beginner level because everything's moving. So you need to make small adjustments at the start of your chain and maybe in the middle of your chain as well. This is a much more realistic situation because everything's moving. So this actually happens quite often in game. You'll definitely want to master this drill. My advanced drill uses the kickoff again, but this time we're going to start our stall chain in the air at an angle. We'll get the kickoff going, then jump up and fly directly at the ball like you're going to hit it head on. But just before we make contact with the ball, aim slightly further up and back, air roll to put your wheels away from the ball, then start our stall chain. So it should look like this. The main purpose of this advanced drill is to be able to start a stall chain from absolutely any position at all, regardless of whether the ball is moving or not, and regardless of the orientation of your car. And the goal can be anything you like, really. I think the ceiling is an okay goal, but possibly a better and more advanced one would be to take the ball to the sidewall and then switch and take it to the other sidewall. If you can do this consistently, you're a super cracked bro. So I really hope that video was helpful for you guys to learn stall chains. If it was, please make sure to like the video and let me know down in the comments. And if it wasn't helpful, feel free to dislike it and tell me how bad the video was. Either way, I'd love to hear from you. And let me know if there are any other mechanics you're struggling with in the game. If enough of you have the same problem, I'll do a video about it, so comment down below. And come join the Mogs Discord server if you want to hang out with me and other Mogs viewers. And go check out my second channel if you want to see me play games like Sideswipe, Rocket League and other games with live commentary. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.